Hey, YouTube is Smoking Trucker here. Today's video is sponsored by Galloway Precision. GallowayPrecision.com for all of your aftermarket parts and accessories for not only this weapon right here, but for just about, the, uh, the, I haven't really seen one that he doesn't make quality parts for. Today's video is going to be on the Taurus G2C and it's going to be about the two different holsters as I have right here. Um, this is going to be the do's and don'ts of adjusting and how to adjust it and what and, and what functions each one does. Okay, let's start off with this holster right here. This one right here, it's this one is the compact ambidextrous. It can either go on right or left. Um, sides, they can, uh, this can either go on to that your left side or that your right side. And it can either go IWB, which is in waistband, or OWB, out of waistband, on right or left. Um, we can do a quick function check. Uh, this is all unloaded. There's nothing in there. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to send a shockwave through there. But okay. Um, these right here are very, very nice holsters. These, um, these both are made out of Kydex. This one's a one-piece. And this one's a two-piece. And then it's, I'll explain that the, both of them on do's and don'ts. This say right here, it's a Kydex molded one piece with the Ulti clip that that goes either on to the hem of your pants or your belt and it just snaps right down very easy. Um, I used to use an OWB, which is out of waistband, which is the big bulky ones, and I always had to worry about what I wore, and um, I always had to make sure it was an um, extra long shirt is because, you know, and so that it would uh, cover the holster and then cover the infamous bulge there that was on the side of my hip. Both of these can either go on your hip, in front, or into the, your back, near the kidney, or either the small of your back. Um, I carry these I, IWB in waistband. Um, I've always been a outer waistband. I, I always thought that that there was the way to go in the whole nine yards and but these have changed my mind um these are here are just very 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 nice holsters um okay um these are here these are fully adjustable on to the clip and on to the tension of the gun itself. Inside of here, you will see rubber grommets right here. One, two, and one right here, three. And, and the how you screw these down is very important, is because you don't want to crank these down. You do not want to crank these down at all. Because, and then you will either ruin the holster or else you'll ruin the grommet 
and then it and then it just won't function right. Um, there's two stages of adjustment up onto that this clip. One, it's if um, it's if you see right here, it's got the spacing right here, and so it can slide up or down. Okay, the further you slide this down, the further the holster is going to um, ride higher onto the your waistband. You slide this up, it's going to ride lower onto the your waistband. Okay, so let's get this to here going here. Okay, take this to here out. Is that right there? And is that right there? Okay. And then here's the rubber grommets right here. That's the rubber grommets right there. Okay. Two there. And then there's going to be. And everything is a precision fit up on this um, that the tolerance fit up on these is very 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 tight and this is that the clip itself and as you can see it's for your fine tuning for that um, for when you have it screwed down and then on both sides, it's got the same exact holes up on each one. Okay? And then what you do, it's um, what I suggest, it's when you first get the holster, I suggest you wear it. And then see how you like it and see if it rides too high, rides too low, or you know that or to that whatever and then and then from there de decide it's if you want the holster a little higher or if you want it a little lower you know and then you know that you can do that your adjustments but this one right here it's you always want you know that if you want it on to the right side The clip goes, of course, up on the right. If you want it for the left, of course, it goes on to the, the left. Okay, and then, and then now I take this apart. And now the the hardest thing about this whole thing is, is trying to get these little things right here. These have to go inside of here and up and through the holes. Okay. Well, after messing with it and messing with it and messing with it, I have found a way on how to solve that problem. Oop, I did it again. You just take a regular piece of tape like this. Okay. And then you want to make sure it gets wrapped around like that. And this piece closer towards the tip. There. Now. When you go to put your finger in there, just stick it right to the tape. Yeah. And so now, because usually you have to put this on to the end of your finger and try and feed it in, and then it falls off. Now, 
you don't have to worry about that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Because now you don't have to worry about it. Because now you just stick it in. Like that right there. You take your grommet right here. And everything is high tolerance. So everything's going to fit really super tight. And then you just put a little bit of pressure right on the side. And so that it holds that piece in. All done. And then this one goes on the end right here. And then most of the time, it just pops in like that. And then you take this grommet, and it goes on like that. Okay? And then this very cheap tool. Okay? And then now this one, you just lay on the top like that. And you always want to make sure you have a magnetized screwdriver because you know that it just makes it a lot easier. You know, and then you don't have to go crank it down right now is because you know that you still have to adjust it like a little, just like a little tiny bit. Just catch the threads. And now you're going to decide upon the way you want it. If you want it, if you want the holster that's right up a little bit, I always want mine just right about like there. And then you put your finger in, you put your finger in a little bit, and then you hold up against the screw you are tightening down. Okay, I tighten that one down. Again, there, the other screw, tighten it down. Now, the do's and don'ts. When these grommets right here, this one and this one right here, you do not, do not, do not want to just crank that thing down. You always just tighten it down enough and so that you see that grommet squish a little tiny bit, stop. Because that's tight enough. Yeah, that's tight enough. The same exact thing when you tighten up for that, uh, your attention for the gun itself. Because right there, you see, because you see another grommet right there. Okay, and now what you want to do now is set for that, your attention up onto what you want, because now it's really loose. Okay, some people like it loose, some people like it tight. Okay, and the same thing here. You take your finger, hold it right there. And then tighten it down just until it starts getting tight. Okay. And they're good enough. And here, it's done. Yeah. That thing is not moving for nobody. And then you have to actually give it a little push and give it a little pull. What holds, what holds in the gun is these two little pieces right here, which locks into right into that your trigger area right here. Because when that goes in, that locks in and it holds everything right up inside of there. And then you know that and then you can readjust it to you know that if you want if you want it a little tight, a, a little bit loose, the same thing here too. When you tighten that down, you just want to just tighten it down enough and see how I still have a little bit of like a gap right there because of I don't want to crank it all of the way down. You know, that um, I've had a ton of people contact me and say, oh yeah, you know, is I got a deal on eBay and I spent $5 up on to a holster and... You know, and that they, and hey, that 
nice try, but you know that they call me up about a week or two later, or that they or that they email me or text me, and and then they send me pictures of how all up and down the slide, right here, on top, or down the side here, or down along the side of like the, the trigger, or anywhere that the holster touches when you're putting it in or taking it out always all scrape marks and not one not one with this holster right here as you can see not one scrape mark there not one scrape mark there and not one and not, and not one anywhere all pristine and this is not a brand new gun either mm. um, the same thing with this holster right here but the only difference we between this one right here is this one's strictly left-handed because I'm a left-handed shot and this one is the same thing but this one's a two-piece which as you can tell Right here, it's got the two big heavy-duty rivets right there. And then these two are your adjustment screws for the, the tension up onto the, the weapon itself. And then the same thing. You just unscrew it a little bit. And then you can make it looser or tighter. The only difference that is I seen with this style right here it's yes same exact thing you always want this to be an even gap right there and so and so that you want to tighten down these two the same and so from there you and so that and so you have an even grip on the gun. And the only difference is I've seen is this one you can hear it lock into place. You can hear it and feel it. This one right here you feel it. You know and that these not going nowhere. Um, same thing here. Not these things are not moving. Um, I gotta tell you, the other is if you're being shaken around that much, uh, I don't think that should be your number one priority. Is if your gun is gonna fall out of your holster, your number one priority should be why am I getting shaken that much? <laughs> but, anyways, um. These two right here, or any of his holsters, come in seven different colors. EMT Red, FDE Tan, Coyote Brown, Purple, Tiffany Blue, Neon Pink, or Black. Um, you can also buy these clips separately, the Ulti Clips, and that comes with a clip, the screws, and grommets. Okay, and um, and then they're about thirty-eight bucks, you know, um, which is a really good deal, you know. Um, I used to carry the big OWB holsters, the out of waistband holsters, and you have to be very conscious of what type of shirt you wear the big bulky ones the longer shirts or, or jackets because you have to hide those these ones right here they sit nice and snug right to your side right there onto that the inside of that your waistband and then it's and then it's practically gone you know um uh very very comfortable to wear uh very very light um 
you know, uh, this piece right here. I will show you. Holds it just a little bit of ways, and so you know that if you don't have on that the grips, you don't get the rash from the, the rubbing of a um, the DM stippling, and then uh, you don't get the rash from. From um, the slide, um, this makes it very, very, very comfortable to wear. Very, very nice. Um, sometimes it's I forget as I have the damn thing on. Um, I, you know, that it is. I hope there yeah, that um, I, I was a little bit informative upon people's decisions. Um, I don't just get this stuff and then you know that and and throw it on YouTube and brag about how good it is. I actually use this stuff, you know. Um, you know that and I use the hell out of it because you know that it's I wanna be able to give my honest opinion about what I think. And then it's um you know that I wear it you know, that when we go out to dinner, I, you know, that is I wear it when I go out on my everyday stuff and, you know, and, you know, that, and when we go to the stores and stuff like that, and I haven't had not one issue whatsoever. I don't have to worry about, well, is that showing or it's, you know, that my shirt long enough where it's going to, you know, that, um, hide the holster and I can wear shorts and a tank top with these and it hides these perfectly you know and you know the and then like I said when it's on this side right here this is for in waistband onto that D left or out of waistband for the right. If I put it on this side right here, it's on inner waistband for the right or out of waistband for the left. You know, so, you know, so that um, this one is for, for multi-hand use. And like I said, this one is strictly for the left, but um, but um, the clips, the grommets, and everything else is, is all the same exact thing, like I just showed you right on this one right here. Same same exact thing. Um, he makes two different sizes um, on to these clips. Uh, one is two point two, and the other one's three point three. Um, and then, um, you can buy these and put these on to your own holsters, but, um, that, but there's, but, but there's certain perimeters that have to, you know, be met for these to fun for these to function properly on GallowayPrecision.com. He has a how-to and tells you up on how to drill the holes and then on the spacings and then uh, what you need for these to work on any other trigger. I mean, on any other holster, I mean. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, I, I hope I was very informative. Um, not only does he uh, sell holsters, but... He's got a um, he's got a whole in-house uh, gunsmithing thing um, that if he sells it, he installs it. That's basically what it comes down to, you know. Um, and then um, if you go on to the GallowayPrecision.com website. It gives you a uh, very, very, very in-depth 
um, instructions on what to do, how to contact them. Um, and then um, you can email them and ask him any questions that you want. Very, very, very nice guy. Uh, very, very informative. Um, that um, His name is Brandon. That the guy knows his stuff. So, you know, um, that he um, he's very down to earth. Um, you know, that and he's very, very intelligent. Um, a, 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 well, gun parts, gunsmithing, and then, um, that, uh, and, and then he will be happy to, um, he don't turn away, um, most questions there that, you know, that, uh, he is very informative. Um, I hope I was informative up on the show and you to do some don'ts on to the tension of these clips. I hope I was informative on to the do's and don'ts about the tension on to yeah, the tension on on to that the gun tension itself on how to make it tighter or looser. Um, if you have any questions at all um, Please feel free to ask um, if I don't know or if I don't feel right about answering it because I don't know the whole answer. I will contact um, Brendan myself and ask him. And then, and only then, would I give you an answer. But, um, but I hope everybody has an awesome day. Um, I've got future videos coming up. On to more Galloway precision parts, um, triggers and recoil springs, and um, and uh, and grips, and then yeah, that's going to be a future video. Um, I hope everybody has an awesome su Sunday. Be safe and um, happy shooting.